All right, everyone, welcome back. So today, as promised in the last episode, we are going to be working on the Wind Temple. If you don't know what that is, I highly suggest going back and watching that video. It's very important about all the information of what I'm going to be doing. But in order to get started over there, we're going to need a lot of materials. So I'm going to spend uh, probably the next hour or so down in the mines just collecting everything I need. I brought a lot of stuff with me, but I'd like to have some more if I'm being honest with you. So uh, that's where this episode is going to start. So the next scene uh, will probably be me in the cherry blossom biome getting started. But as for now, I'm going to head down here and just start digging away. Actually, you know what? I should probably repair my tools first. That would make... A lot of sense, wouldn't it? All right, we finally made it over here. That was a uh, a bit of an excursion I went through. I had a lot of stuff that I needed to take care of that I did not realize. But now that we're here, uh, we can finally start to decide where we're going to put this thing. So uh, I don't think I want it to be on this side because we have that village over there and all that stuff and if we go over here to this side um oh geez okay well if you're gonna interrupt my plans unfortunately i have to terminate you there you go goodbye okay um so over on this side it looks like we've got a lot more land so let's actually jump down here and uh i want to visualize what it's going to be like from down here because we have to think about uh, you guys walking into here, and I think that's probably the best spot for it. That's a really cool area to have it, have it be on top of this hill up here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So uh, we'll just mark that out real quick. And what I'm actually going to do is place like a giant dirt pillar or something just so <laughs> I know where that is. But uh, we're not going to be using any of these any of these um cherry leaves or anything like that so all this stuff is going to get uh unfortunately burned down or just completely taken out because i don't really need it so um let's see if i have some cobblestone or something we'll just make a giant pillar there we go so we will mark this spot as the center of our build so this is kind of where we're going to do everything and this is actually going to be a good visual for you guys while we're up here you're going to see this whole area and basically what the plan is so um the first thing i need to do regarding all of this is uh, you can see we don't have that much space here so we're gonna need to do so you can see this is um this is kind of what we got going on here we've got this really big uh hill plateau thing if you will with this cherry blossom biome and so it's all very nice and so i want to kind of have like a staircase coming up to this river very magical looking and then have uh the actual temple castle dungeon whatever uh be on top of this hill and then we'll work from the inside down below so uh the first thing i want to do is get my beacon set up and we'll start digging and then uh i gotta kind of mine some dirt around here and actually uh flatten out a lot of this land and then i'm gonna get flint and steel and basically burn down all of these trees so uh we're gonna have a nice flat area to work with because we're gonna make all of the trees ourselves so uh should be a lot of fun gonna be a lot of work so i'd say first thing uh is let's set up the beacon All right, everyone, have one last final look at this thing before it gets completely destroyed. So, yes, I do feel bad for tearing up the earth, but uh, it needs to be done. And trust me, it is going to look so good once we finish it. But unfortunately, a lot of this has to go. So uh, there's going to be lots of uh, tearing down all these trees and things are going to be set on fire very shortly here. So uh, I guess... The next clip you are going to see is going to be a destruction montage. Yeah, you might want to get out of here, buddy. This is not going to be good. I'm just going to pay very close attention at the start here and make sure this doesn't burn my chest and my bed. But I think we should be okay. Oh, no, I feel bad. I feel bad. Okay, what I'm going to do, I should relocate these guys. I ended up with like eight beehives out of that. I think I'm going to send them down over here. This looks like a lovely little spot to put them in over in this forest over here. 
We can all, uh, we can just spread them out over here. There's plenty of flowers for them to uh, mess around with. So hopefully they all just go do whatever they're supposed to do. Anyways, you can see how it's coming along. I would actually like to do a little bit more, but uh, you kind of get the idea. Uh, I would love to actually get rid of all of this over here so that there's no uh, trees over in this direction. All right, we've got this terrible chess monster set up. So work is getting started over here, but obviously we got a lot to do. This is not going to be a project that is finished in one day, so... If you were expecting that, I am sorry to disappoint you, but uh, this is going to take several, several months. But uh, I definitely want to get all of these copper blocks laid out. So I think I'm just going to use this flat area down over here. So this seems like a nice and easy area to lay a lot of stuff down. I don't need any of this. And I actually need uh, the dirt from this to level out all that up there. So I guess let's just get all of our copper blocks laid out. All right, I wish I would have kept them as full blocks, but unfortunately they've already been cut. So it's going to slow down the process a little bit, but I'm going to follow your guys' advice that you told me, which is a four block space in between. Uh, and I know that that works. So we're just going to make a giant grid of these blocks over here. And uh, while we're working up there, they should oxidize. So uh, yeah, we're getting started around here. It's going to be a lot of work. going to take many, many months to finish this project, but... Uh, it all starts with one step. All right. Well, it felt like I did a lot, but to be honest with you, uh, I really didn't do that much. Uh, that was probably like 30 minutes worth of placing blocks, but you can see that's really all we got going on over there. It's a little hard to kind of like, uh, space them like that with the landscape, but Anyways, I figured we'd get started on here. I know I am so dearly sorry that this is not exactly the most entertaining video in the world. I know I'm really not doing all that much, but I want to document everything that I do here. So this is obviously a huge project. And in order to do that huge project, we need to set up stuff properly, right? I can't just use the landscape that's been given to me. I kind of have to like mold it into what I was picturing, which is going to take a while. So this episode is probably going to be a lot of me doing terraforming and digging as you've seen already and not that much building. So thank you for sticking along this far. If you have made it, I know it's not exactly the most entertaining thing in the world. Fully aware of that, but it is the way that it is. So um, right now I'm thinking we're going to kind of reform this a little bit. That's why I got all of that dirt. And so I kind of want to bring everything down to the level that I'm at right now, which is 128. So uh, we've got a few blocks that we need to get rid of there. And then we have some dirt that we need to place over here. And then I think we'll end this episode off by making the foundation of the actual build uh, because a lot of this build is going to be underground. So, um, yeah, we'll just see where we go from there. But first, let's kind of level everything out here. So for those wondering why I'm being so meticulous about the land that we're using, think of it as if you were trying to start a painting, how would you go about doing that, right? Well, first you would get the rough idea of what you were going to do, and then you would make a sketch. And then from that sketch, you would probably, you know, just loosely kind of imagine what it is that you're going to do. So I would think of the phase that I'm in right now is like we're kind of making the sketch, right? We're getting the canvas ready to start painting, and we're just making some pencil lines of the landscape and what the building is going to look like. And then from there, we'll start actually building it out and adding details. So it's a very tedious process. It takes a while. And you can see we've got lots of cherry logs we need to clean up, which uh, will take quite some time. But of course, uh, we got to get everything on the same level first so that my eyes can see more clearly what it is that needs to be built. All right, that is a very flat looking area to me and a whole double chest worth of dirt. That is a lot of blocks, man. But we are going to need pretty much every single one of them because my intention is that we um, we kind of have this natural staircase right here. So I think this is going to be our way up. But I would love to actually slope this hill off a little bit more 
um, than what it is currently. I feel like it's a little too sharp currently. So I would like to, you know, kind of make my own little mountain, if you will, over here and make it look, you know, really nice with some foliage and terraforming. But uh, we have a nice foundation to work with. So I think we're going to start probably the most exciting part of this video, which is actually making this thing over here. So uh, let's get out our blocks that we're going to be using and let's get started. All right. Well, this is going to be a big project. So we got a lot of work to do here. Uh, I think honestly, I need to place even more dirt because I think our entrance is going to be right over here. I would love to have it facing this way. So um, yeah, actually, <laughs> oh man, this is taking a long time. I know it hasn't been this for you guys, but for me, I've been working on this for like three or four hours already, and I feel like I haven't gotten anything done. So time to place even more dirt. All right, so I'm thinking some kind of shape like that because I believe this is where the main entrance is going to be over here. So uh, what I'm going to do, what's not going to be in the video, is I'm actually just going to turn some music on while I fill this in and just kind of chill out because this is going to take me uh, a long time to clear all this stuff out. Oh, man. All right. Well, that has been completed for the most part. I just realized I missed a little spot over there, but... Look at all the land we have to work with now. This is exactly what I was trying to do. So we've got all this flat land to finally build something very large. It is going to be absolutely massive. So uh, I guess we just get started, right? We've got our blocks here, so I can start laying down the foundations. I can start laying down the foundations for what we're going to build here. Uh, but first, let's take care of that little spot. And then we'll start building. All right. Well, we've got all this land to work with. So um, by the thumbnail, I think this is what I'm going to do for the thumbnail is I'm going to go in a creative world and find a cherry blossom biome. And I'm going to build like a miniature scale of what I'm going to do here. And I'm going to put that in the thumbnail. So you guys will understand what I'm going to make basically and what it's going to look like. But uh, this is obviously on a much larger scale this time around. So I think the first thing I want to do is uh, our main staircase is going to be somewhere around this area. So I would love for this to be the center. If you can see where those two trees have that gap right there, that's about where I'm picturing the center to be. So uh, I guess the first thing we can do is mark out um, the center. So we'll have something like that. That's where the door is going to be. And I think the door is going to be five wide. So it's going to be a very big door. So then we can place our two walls on the side like that. And we'll knock out the five, two, three, four, five. There you go. All right. So that's the gap we have now. And so I'm thinking uh, the wall is actually going to extend outward for this bit. And then we'll have, um, we could either do three or five. I think I'm going to do five. So like that would be five. And then maybe if we like sunk it back to, that could be very cool. We did something like that. Oh, I'm probably going to be doing that quite a bit, <laughs> but you can see it kind of has like a interesting shape to it. So we have the door there. Then we have a window here, window here, and we'll have that go down one like this. So now we have like two separations in the wall. And then from this point on, uh, we could probably put a tower so I'm thinking I usually like to do five wide for my towers like this. And then one, two, three, four, five, one, one, two, three, four, five, one. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then you can see that lines up perfectly. So then we got a nice tower right there. Sleep. I need to sleep. Okay, so we've got something like that. And now that I'm looking at it, I think this is actually too big. I think we need to make this much smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to end the wall right there. And uh, I'm going to do three this time with a one block space. So you can see uh, that's one, two, three. And then the one block space. And then we have one, two, three again. And so we'll just repeat that all the way around until it lines up. Um, 
and then we get a shape like that. I think that's actually going to work really nice for us. Um, and so I'm going to replicate the same thing on this side. So we went one, two, three, four, five, and then we have this, and then we sync back one, one, two, three, four, five, and then this was like that, I believe. And I think this should mirror itself nicely, right? That seems like it's about the same over there. We got that that two right there and the two right there. Okay, so that is now the same, um, whatchamacallit, same shape. Uh, so then I wanted to extend it uh, this way. All right, let's get a better view. So you can see the size of this building and what I was going for. So uh, we have a square shape the building is actually going to be a white building, but I'll show you guys the gradient that we're going to do in a second. That's why I was using tough. Um, but you can see the kind of shape that we have. Very simple, right? Nothing crazy. I'm going to add a lot of detail and whatnot um, further on, but this is our basic sketch. Now let's get into the gradient of what's actually going to be made here. Okay, so we've got lots and lots of blocks to choose from. So let's get started for our gradient. This is how it is going to work today. All right, we've got lots and lots of blocks. So this is going to be our gradient for this build. We're going to start off with the tough bricks. This is a nice dark block that will make a very good foundation. From there, we're going to move up to regular tough. And so that has that kind of rough texture, which I think will suit really nicely after that. From there, uh, it's kind of a toss up. I think we're going to go with smooth stone first because this kind of matches in between this, which our next block is andesite. So I feel like this kind of matches in between the two very well. So you get that really smooth transition from the dark greenish gray into the light gray right here from there we can move to our diorite block. So this diorite block uh, is gonna really help carry that white color for this whole build, which I think is gonna suit this grass and whole ambiance very nicely. From the diorite block, we are gonna move to the calcite. So the calcite is uh, one of my favorite white blocks to build with. It's just kind of has that smooth but rough texture at the same time. I just really like it. I feel like it. it's just got a really clean texture to it. And then our final one, I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I do plan on probably sprinkling it in here and there uh, is the white wool. So this is obviously one of the whitest blocks we have aside from quartz. And uh, I really like this one. That's so uh, we might use this on like the corners and whatnot, but you can see that's our whole gradient. So if we step away, you can see how that kind of blends in uh, very nicely. So I was thinking what we'll do here is that we can kind of like make a little wall together uh, while I'm doing this. So let's get them all in our inventory as we intended, like so right there. And uh, then we can... Uh, make a little wall section here with you guys. So we'll do this one right by the door. Why not? So I usually plan on doing something like this um, to start. So I don't want the bricks to be really all that noticeable. I just want them to kind of be on the bottom layer. So we have a nice little thing going on there uh, with the bricks. And then we'll take the tough and kind of go over it just uh, one block like this. Because we want that transition to be quite quick from the dark blocks to uh, the lighter ones. So now that we're left with something like that, uh, we can move over to our stone. So we'll get the stone and we'll line it on top of the tough right here. And I think I'm actually going to go two for this one. So uh, we have something like that now, and then we'll take our andesite and just kind of do the same thing. So we can uh, go up two layers here. I feel like that's fine for the gray blocks. And now we can get into our real uh, gradient of this build, which is the white, because we want this building to be predominantly white. So you can see that's how high up that has gone. Uh, but now I'm going to go three blocks for each one. So I'm building up two here for the diorite. And then we can go up uh, one more even like this. So that's going to get that really nice white grayish texture. And then I think calcite is going to be predominantly the uh, biggest texture of this castle. So uh, I say castle because I feel like it looks more like a castle than a dungeon. Um, so we'll uh, soon find out 
in the end uh, what it ends up looking like the most. But I'm going to kind of carry this all the way up. Um, I don't know how tall this is going to be yet. But um, so we'll just, you know, do something. Let's just say until like right here. This is this is a good height, right? Something like that. <laughs> we'll we'll adjust it later on if need be. But um, as we jump down, you can see uh, the gradient that we have. That is going to look really, really nice when everything is all completed. And then what I was thinking was with the white wool, we can kind of sprinkle that in in a few places to kind of make it look a little bit better. So if we go up here, um, to kind of, I don't know if I'm going to do it randomly or if I'm going to do it in the corners. So we can try a little bit of both is I'll just like break a few blocks like this and we'll kind of just texture it with uh, the white wool in there because I feel like that that could look cool if we did something like this up close. It looks a little funky, but from far away, I feel like it's actually going to work quite nice. I keep destroying blocks by accident because of this beacon. Um, so I think that should work pretty okay, if I'm being honest. I don't know if I should have put the white wool down there. That's probably a little too much, but I would love if I could actually get that block back. There we go. So, uh, yeah, we have a whole gradient going on there, and uh, you can see that white really kind of breaks up that texture. So I think we'll do that all the way around and kind of gives the wall a, uh, a smoother look there. You can kind of see how that's kind of broken that up. So I really like how that looks up close. It's a little rough. I feel like we could kind of fix a lot of these little areas uh, by using some different techniques. But um, as for now, I'm really happy with that shape. So we need to kind of repeat that all the way around. Not going to be doing that in this episode because that is going to take forever. But I wanted to kind of make an episode showing you uh, what the actual plan was. And so um, there wasn't going to be that much building in this episode to begin with. So um, obviously down there, as you can see, the copper is oxidizing and that is going to be our roof block. So I feel like the white with that oxidized copper is going to look very nice, uh, but we're going to need a lot of copper to do that. So uh, I've got plenty of mining to do, but I believe that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know it wasn't that entertaining of a video. I promise that uh, the next one we will actually be building uh, quite a lot more. But I had to get an episode out today because I don't like to miss days. And so I've been on that very consistent three-day recording schedule for a while now so uh, that is going to be it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed uh, before we end off we do have to answer the comment of the day so our comment of the day comes from katie williams and they said that this is a very nice video i watch you with my two kids from time to time and they wanted you to know that and i quote you are a cool guy so <laughs> i thought that was the funniest comment ever so thank you so much for leaving that that a uh definitely left a smile on my face uh when i read that so um yeah it's just you know nice to know that my uh audience reaches all different ages and uh you know that's what we're all about on this channel right we're about you know getting everybody involved in minecraft so um that's awesome that you know you watch uh, my videos with your family so um say hello to everybody for me if you are watching this one anyways uh that is going to be it for today's video uh, I don't have anything else that I would like to do today. Uh, we don't have any donations to go over either. So uh, that seems to be about wraps for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. One thing before I go um, is that I am going to start streaming on this channel, I think. So uh, there is a multiplayer server that I am playing on right now run by uh, a few of my friends and I, and I think I might start streaming it. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see that. Otherwise, that's going to be it for this one, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. That's about it.